Make sure when you're out here laying your paint and all that good stuff, you sweep off your surface. Make sure no leaves, breed, debris, um, branches or anything like that is on your palette deck. And so you'll make sure you have a smooth coating when you go ahead and lay down your paint that you spent your money on, okay? What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses Palette Idea Edition. Yes, I am so excited today because I'm sure you all can see what's going on and behind me and it is all about my palette furniture okay now i've been talking about painting everything and getting everything prepped and ready and this rain has done what it is doing it has already rained twice today so i realized i need to pull everything inside i put it inside i let it dry off i'm gonna clean it off a little bit like with the broom and things like that and then we are painting ladies and gentlemen if you do remember the paint color for the palette furniture it is blue and it is blue that i have okay now something very special that i need to tell you about this paint color as well well the paint itself um that i did not know that i gained the knowledge of when i picked up the paint but nonetheless i will make sure i tell it to you and i need to kind of hurry up because i don't know if you can see the clouds like but it, the clouds it's about to rain it's about to rain a lot harder than it has already it was like little light showers but this one looks like it's gonna be ridiculous so i'm gonna go ahead and clean these boards or excuse me i'm gonna go ahead and clean the furniture off and then once i clean the furniture off i'm gonna tell you about this paint then we're gonna paint and then we're gonna wait um four to six hours because that's how long it takes for it to dry and then uh huh, we'll be finished i'm gonna do two coats all right buddy and then uh we will be done so let me go ahead and do what i need to do so that we can do what we need to do so you can see what you want to see so that we can learn to Together. All right, let's go. All right, so now that that part is done, now it is time to paint. I didn't realize I hadn't sat at the table, but when I ran my hand across it, I was like, whoa, I can't eat on that. So, anyway, here is the paint that I will be using uh, it's kind of heavy because it is full now the thing about this paint here um, is that there are two different types so you want to make sure when you're painting your palette decks that you're using this particular paint itself okay it is for deck wood and decking and being outside more than anything all right and so something I learned is that there is a smooth finish and then there is a textured finish now this one is the smooth finish um, as you can see here let me just boom give you the good deals boom 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 this is a smooth finish because this is what i will use on the table and the chair and then there's a texture finish that i will use on the palette deck itself which will help with grip and things like that so make sure when you're going out getting your paint that you keep those things in mind um this paint was like 36 dollars a gallon and that's just what it's gonna be okay so we're gonna have some fun i'm gonna pour out the uh paint and then we're gonna get to painting and then at the end of this, hopefully we have something that is worth looking at and enjoying. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button, which will help other people get to see what you are getting to see. And then just lets me know that I'm on the right track, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing painted. And um, yeah, we'll see what it ultimately looks like after the first coat. Okay, there are some fun facts I wanted to say about the paint that I didn't share, but I will share while I'm painting. Nonetheless, the paint, like I've already done like waterproofing, but come to find out the paint itself already has a water coating and it also has slip resistant capabilities within the paint itself. So actually the waterproofing that I did with the other previous coat was actually unnecessary, but hey, you cannot protect and treat your wood enough. So I won't call it a loss at the end of the day. I will just say it's out of protection with the 
paint that I currently have. So know that this is what you get when you get this paint. Ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, the painting is done and it actually looks pretty, pretty darn well. I will make sure I let you know the paint color in the description below just in case what you see catches your eye and you say, I want this in my backyard, front yard, or whatever outside situation. Uh, make sure you know what the paint color is. So I am actually getting a little bit antsy because though it looks like it's overcast skies, I don't feel a rain drop and what the, you know, like the dark clouds that I saw a little time before, I don't see anymore. So I'm really thinking about going outside to go ahead and just painting the sectional. Um, but then when I see the deck clear, I might as well just go ahead and paint the deck too. So go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, because I am doing this for us all, okay? I wanna get it done. I really wanna get it done. We can get it done. So let's get it done, okay? All those to say that I'm nervous. I hope it doesn't rain. And if I'm gonna put this paint down, God, please keep the rain away. That is my prayer. All right, so let's go ahead and get this painting done. All right, so now that I have everything moved to where I need it to be, I've already took the time to sweep, cleaning everything off, and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the section no now i'm gonna do the front side which is the side in which you will see uh because the paint actually is very thick and um it's i don't want to run out of paint okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and focus on this front area and i have anything left over i'll make sure i hit the leg area and then the top and then the back okay that is priority the front the legs the top and then the back all right legitimate so let me go ahead and knock that out have some fun with this and that and um, hopefully I'll be able to get to the deck if, I mean, the rain holds up. I'm going to just do it and just chop it up to overcast skies. Not necessarily a threat that I have to be worried about. So, honestly, I'm very excited at how these things are turning out today. All right, so go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Help us get the 10 thousand subscribers by the end of this summer so with your clicking of the red button turn into a gray button it would help us get there and we greatly appreciate it much appreciate it because we can do life together if you do so all right so let's go ahead and get to it and um yeah man hopefully i get to this deck y'all Alright ladies and gentlemen, so the blue paint actually did stretch out to the way I need it to be. As you can see, yes, it is blue. Oh, I'm so excited with everything coming together. I'm so excited that the rain is holding up and which I feel bold enough to go ahead and paint 
my palette deck. Now, this color, of course, will be brown, um, the color in which my lovely wife chose. With the help of you all, um, that is what the color will be. So, I've already swept it off. I'm going to go and grab the brown paint from the garage, and then I'll bring it out, load it up. And we're going to lay it out, okay, in that order. So make sure when you're out here laying your paint and all that good stuff, you sweep off your surface. Make sure no leaves, breathe, debris, um, branches, or anything like that is on your palette deck. And so you'll make sure you have a smooth coating when you go ahead and lay down your paint that you spent your money on, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do what I do. Make sure you subscribe and do what you need to do. And then we'll have some fun looking at the finished product. All right, let's go. So for the palette deck, I chose this one, which is your, uh, you really can't see it, but it is a chocolate color. And as you can see on there, it says for, you know, extra textured finish, okay? So this does have texture, which is very necessary when you're walking around on the palette deck. So this is why I chose this finish for the palette deck itself. And of course it is the brown chocolate color that my wife decided to go with. So make sure when you're going through the Home Depot, which is where I got mine, you look for the texture if you're thinking about slippage, walking, and things like that. Huh? Well, beautiful people, and just like that, the palette deck has been painted the chocolate brown that my lovely wife chosen, and I am so thankful for all of your likes all of your subscriptions that help like push me propel me to go ahead and get this project done um the sun held out the clock the, the i mean the cloud the sun, the sky is clear like i don't know if it was your subscriptions i don't know if it was your hitting the thumbs up i don't know if it was just sheer perseverance but i'm so thankful that the rain held up and allowed me to do what I did. So, man, hey, take your time, do your thing, make sure the sun it does allow and you know you to do what you need to do. So here goes my sectional, which I am so excited about. Like this is coming along beautifully, and I'm gonna let it rest, let everything do what it do uh, for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna come back here and mess with it. Um, I'll put everything back tomorrow. Um, and I feel like one coat is enough at the end of the day like you know there are little Spots where you can see like the seams and everything like that which is the blue which I'm okay with at the end of the day I'm okay with the various colors and characteristics. I call it character at the end of the day It is wood. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is outside. It's not inside It's not your inside wall or anything like that. It has to look nice Okay, and so that is what I think I achieved at the end of the day And if you agree hit that thumbs up button and I will much appreciate it Just you know it'd be a reminder that hey Ricky we got this thing done to Together because it was because of you all that this color was chosen is because of you all that the deck was raised is because of you all that it's all painted it's because of you I can't say it enough and I so so oh so mean it and so excited for us to put everything back together and then see what we build beyond now okay so if you haven't already done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of all the different creations that we put together from palettes to diys the gardening to so many different things that we do with the dkuj family channel page so join the family look at this uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We are getting so much closer to what we ultimately see in a vision. So I think like next are like lights, um, different things like that, uh, corner pieces. I mean, I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what we should do next. Y'all gave me suggestions like fire pits, pools, and all that good stuff. But man, whew, it's gotten lost in the sauce. I must say all this rain has slowed down my progression. But boom shakalaka, we have paint. Oh, I'm so excited for it. I love you. I thank you. I'll see you on the next video, okay? 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 All right, beautiful people. Peace. Ah!